Hi, Anne. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's just me today. Um, Mark is, has back to back meetings. <laughs> till okay, no problem. <laughs> How are you feeling? I still got my little bracelet on. Oh, thank you. I'm good. Uh, just getting water swollen feet. So I put those up as much as I can. <laughs> Hey, Pat. Hey. Am I, there are I you? am. Are you? Oh, I'm okay, except I strained my low back yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was using too heavy a weight to do a suitcase deadlift, and it tweaked my back. But I'm stretching, I'm heating, little tile and all, I'll be fine. Okay. I just can't bend down too fast. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, take your time. Um, if you need some support, like putting, uh, if you're laying down today and you're putting pillow, or if you're laying down, just place some pillows underneath your knees for some support. Yeah, I'm all set for that. Thank you. And Great. a heating pad. <laughs> okay. So your beach ceremony for the, was it called the baby blessing? It was oh, beautiful. for Ann. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Are you both, are you friends with Anne on Facebook? No, uh, yeah, uh, no, you. So it, okay. I think you posted something. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a really beautiful ceremony. It's, and Anne looks, looks amazing with her belly and the baby <laughs> inside and <laughs> having the opportunity to see her friends. She can tell you more because, you know, it was her ceremony, but yeah, we had a really good time for sure. Yeah, he was, David and Shelly were amazing. All my friends loved it. You know, there was, a, some of them, it was their first time. So they were like, wow, that was amazing. Mm. Thank you. Well, well I know Carrie um, is in Hawaii and uh, with her friend. And I think, I don't know if Julie's going to be here or not, but we'll just go ahead and get started. Um is a reminder all of these are up on um um on youtube now so if you go to david romero yoga you can also find all of these up there as well and <clears throat> for today's practice and this week's practices um been sharing the topic of acceptance and uh looking at things that we accept looking at things that we don't accept um how and why uh, those types of things arise within us. And, you know, specifically uh, because I work in clinics that challenge a lot of people in the context of radical self-acceptance. You know, I work with individuals on a mental health standpoint that have been told all sorts of negative thing, things throughout their life, either by parents or by guardians or loved ones or by teachers or by um certain philosophical sects, uh, even at the point of religion, um, that there is a low belief in self, in fact, so much so that they have a very difficult time accepting the self. And that comes with a lot of different things. Um, things like accepting our bodies the way that they are, uh, our shapes, our sizes, our colors, our sex, um, uh, gender, uh, accepting things like aging, that we're getting older, and that there is nothing that we can really do to stop that. You know, we can take care of our health and do preventative health measures, so to speak. But the fact is, is that as we are human beings, there is a birth into this world, and then there is a transition out of this world. And so discussing uh, areas and topics of things like acceptance, accepting our uh, experience that one day we will transition. And I find that when we practice things like acceptance, denial starts to dissolve itself. Um, we're no longer in a state of pushing life away because we recognize that we are a part of life. 
Um, we are life. And <clears throat> I'm going to share a little bit from the book, Power Versus Force by Dr. Hawkins. And he said, at this level of awareness, a major transformation takes place with the understanding that one is oneself, the source and creator of the experience of one's life. Taking such responsibility is distinctive of this degree of evolution, characterized by the capacity to live harmoniously with the forces of life. All people at levels below 200 tend to be powerless and see themselves as victims at the mercy of life and below the level of 200 would be below the level of courage. This stems from a belief that the source of one's happiness or the cause of one's problems is out there. An enormous jump taking back one's own power is completed at this level with the realization that the source of happiness is within oneself. At this more evolved stage, nothing so-called out there has the capacity to make one happy and love is not something that is given or taken away by another, but is created from within. Acceptance is not to be confused with passive passivity, which is a symptom of apathy. This form of acceptance allows engagement in life on life's own terms without trying to make it conform to an agenda. With acceptance, there is emotional calm and perception is widened as denial is transcended. One now sees things without distortion or misinterpretation. The context of experience is expanded so that one is capable of seeing the whole picture. Acceptance has to do essentially with balance, proportion, and appropriateness. The individual at the level of acceptance is not interested in determining right or wrong but instead is dedicated to resolving issues and finding out what to do about problems. Tough jobs do not cause discomfort or dismay. Long-term goals take precedence over short-term ones. Self-discipline and mastery are prominent. At the level of acceptance, we are not polarized by conflict or opposition. We see that other people have the same rights as we do and we honor equality. While lower levels are characterized by rigidity, at this level, social plurality begins to emerge as a form of resolution of problems. Therefore, this level is free of discrimination or intolerance. There is the awareness that equality does not preclude diversity. Acceptance includes rather than rejects. And as we move through our practice today, you know, I find that breath work is an interesting practice because in any given moment, the body is accepting and receiving life force. And then on the flip of that, what exists outside of the body on an exhale accepts and doesn't resist that either. And so I find it's helpful in looking at what am I resisting in life? Where am I in denial about things? What am I pushing back so hard on with life? And where can I flow with life? Um, as we go through this, breathe with me. Uh, if you need to take breaks, take breaks. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of body relaxation, and I'll be discussing a little bit of um, um, self-inquiry in this practice today, too, where we, I'll be asking some questions that only really we can answer that ourselves. And the truth is there's no right or wrong answer. Um, but it is important to become aware and to see where our minds are at with this, okay? So thank you, friends. We're going to go over to the mat and let's start our practice. All right. So let's lay down on our backs. And as we lay down on our backs, I'd like us to separate our feet about mass distance apart and then take your arms out to the sides. As you take your arms out to the sides, let the shoulders drop down the back. Let your head come to rest either on a pillow or the ground. Feel your spine release. Let your lower back release.
And as we arrive into our practice, letting go of our day, letting go of our week, letting go of what's next and what's to come. Begin to feel the inhales and the exhales. Observe how the belly rises on the inhale. And gently falls on the exhale. Let's slowly start to breathe together. Breathing through the nose, inhale, filling the lungs up. Without straining, breathe down the spine into the lower belly. And exhale, releasing, letting it go. Out the nose. Inhaling through the nose, breathing down the spine into the lower belly, chest expand, collarbone spread. Exhale, releasing, letting it go. In and out through the nose, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhaling. Exhaling. And inhale. Exhale. Good. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose on your own. And checking in with your body, observe where there may be some stress, any tension, tightness, soreness, pain, and balances of any kind. And as we move deeper to the practice, stay with the breath. Let go of what you can. Be here now. Breath retention. Please take a long, slow, full deep breath in, filling the lungs all the way up, holding your breath at the top of the inhale. As you hold, relax into your body. Exhale, release. Observe the sensations. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Let's do that again. Please take another long, slow, full, deep breath in, breathing down the spine into the lower belly, chest expands, collarbones spread, hold at the top of the inhale. As you hold, relax into your body, forehead, eyebrows, cheeks, lips, mouth, tongue.
Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Please take another long, slow, full, deep breath in. Breathe down the spine, into the lower belly. Chest expands, collarbones spread, holding at the top of the inhale. As you hold, relax into your body. Perhaps you can use the mantra, I accept myself. I accept myself. I accept myself. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. And smooth breath out. And slowly take the arms down along your sides. Turn your palms face up. Slide the feet in so they're about hips distance apart. Let's just add some movements to open the body up before our next stage. On an inhale, gently roll the shoulders upwards to your ear. Then on the exhale, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, roll shoulders forward and up. Exhale, shoulders roll down our backs. Inhale, roll shoulders forward and up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Inhale, roll shoulders forward and up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. On an inhale, reach the arms up and over the head, palms, fingertips, lightly touch. Exhale, release the arms down along the sides. Accepting our movement, accepting the range of motion in our bodies as it shows up. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over our heads, palms, fingertips, lightly touch. Exhale, gently lower the arms down along the sides. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and over the head, palms touch. Exhaling, arms down along the sides. Good. Now this time, inhale, sweep the arms up and over the head. On the exhale, interlace your hands and press your palms towards the back wall in your room. Point your toes forward. As you point your toes forward, keep the breath steady. Inhale, we breathe down our spine into our lower belly. belly we lengthen. Exhale, maintain the length. Try to stretch a little bit more. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, try to find a little bit more stretch. One more inhale without shortening, lengthen. Then on your exhale, gently release your arms down along your sides. Good. And slowly circle out your wrists, circle out your ankles. Smooth breath in. 
and smooth breath out. Good. Accepting the range of motion. Circle the wrists and ankles in the opposite direction. Very good. Let's slide our right foot in, slide our left foot in. Bring both knees into your chest. If you bring both knees into your chest, you can gently rock side to side, back and forth, back and forth. Just accepting any pain or tension or stress that may be there. We're not here to fight against a sensation. Fighting a sensation is futile. We accept that the sensation is there, and then we find a corrective course of action to help alleviate the sensation if the sensation is unwanted or un... Because the thing is, is that sensations always show up in the present moment. We try to say to ourselves, oh, it's not necessary, but the sensation is there intentionally. It's designed that way. Now, if we don't like it, then we have to do some work to surround that. Let's lower the feet down towards the ground. And I'd like you to take your left hand to your right shoulder and your right hand to your left shoulder as if you're giving yourself a hug. And all I'd like you to do is just rock the upper body side to side, back and forth. Inhaling to our right. Exhaling over to our left. Inhaling to our right. Exhaling to our left. One more. Inhaling to our right. And exhaling to our left. And coming back towards center. Release the arms down along the sides. Now from here, we're going to do some breath of fire. We're going to do three rounds of one minute. At the end of that one minute, I'm setting the timer. We're going to exhale out all the air. Now, as we exhale out all the air, what we're going to do is we're going to empty the lungs completely on the exhale after the minute of breath of fire. Then we're going to pull the navel in using a negative suction pressure. So we're going to suck the stomach in and up. It's almost going to feel like you want to take a breath, but you're keeping your mouth sealed. Now, we're going to lift the navel, holding the belly into the spine. We're going to spread through our collarbones, draw the chin in. Then we'll press our tongue against the roof of the mouth and roll the eyes upwards. I'll cue us on all of this. And we'll hold that for a period of time. And then when we're ready, we'll take an inhale and we'll hold that at the top. So just follow along, please. Breath of fire, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose quickly. Smooth breath in. Open your mouth, exhale. Seal the lips. Breathing in halfway to the nose. Breath of fire begins. Exhale out all the air, empty the lungs all the way out, and pause at the base of the exhale. Pull the navel in, spread to the collarbones, draw the chin in, press the tongue against the roof of the mouth, roll the eyes upwards, hold here.
releasing, inhale, filling the lungs all the way up, hold at the top. As you hold, accepting whatever sensations are there, accepting whatever feelings are there, accepting whatever thoughts are there, accepting how the body feels, just allowing yourself to be here. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Let's do this again. Inhale, filling the lungs halfway. Seal the lips. Breath of fire begins again. Exhaling out all the air, empty the lungs all the way out, and then lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel in, spread through the collarbones, draw the chin in, press the tongue against the roof of the mouth, roll the eyeballs upwards, stay at the base of the exhale, holding. Releasing, inhale, fill your lungs all the way up, hold to the top. As you hold, relax into your body. Try not to strain. Exhale, releasing. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Last round. Inhale, breathing in halfway, sealing the lips. And breath of fire begins. Exhaling in all the air, empty the lungs all the way out. Pause at the base of the exhale, lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel in, spread through the collarbones, draw the chin in, 
Press the tongue against the roof of the mouth. Roll the eyeballs upwards. Hold here. Keep sucking the stomach in as much as you can without straining. Relaxing, inhale, fill the lungs all the way up, hold to the top. As you hold, relax into your body. Exhale, release. Move breath in. And smooth breath out. All right, from here, I'd like us to gently put a bend in our knees. And then we're going to roll over today over to our right side. As we roll over to our right side, we're going to do a practice that's sometimes called birthing breath. Um, the first time I did this breath, I was at a bhakti fest, and uh, the practitioner guided us through this practice that had to do with the first breath that we take when we come into this life. And depending on the situation, experience, circumstances, people, strangers, and things around us, we are subject to coming into this world in a very interesting state and space of being. Now, the breath over our lifetime has been conditioned based on the trauma, the experiences, the, uh, all the things that we have been through. And so the idea in this practice is to have more of a soothing, calming breath. Okay, so for this first part, it is going to be a little bit more agitated. And it's going to be an inhale, exhale out the mouth. And it's going to be a full inhale, full exhale for about five minutes. And it's going to sound like this. It's going to be through our mouth. <gasps> Okay, and you can support your head either with a pillow or with a uh, or with your arm. The option is yours. But think about as you do this, breathing fully, so you're pulling air in dynamically, but you're not straining too hard. It's just a big full inhale, and there's going to be a sound associated with it. And then you're going to exhale too with a sigh, and there'll be a little bit of tonality to that sigh. And as you sigh, try to empty the lungs all the way out. So we'll do this together for approximately five minutes. Then at the end, we're gonna roll onto our back and do some uh, breath retention exercises. So please just follow along. All right, let's take an inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. And let's begin. Exhaling the air out. Oh. 
Find a little squeeze at the base of the exhale. Squeeze the core. Don't be afraid to make some noise. the lungs. A little stronger now. All the way out, pause in the base of the exhale. And ah, exhaling in all the air, empty the lungs all the way out, pause at the base of the exhale, empty, 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 and roll onto your back.
Inhale, fill the lungs. All the way to the top of the inhale, holding for one minute. As you hold, relax into your body. Exhale, let it go. Mid breath in. Smooth breath out, side out. <sighs> Smooth breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more smooth breath in. And sigh it out. <sighs> From here, let's bend our knees again and roll over to our left side. And we're going to use our top hand, right hand, to press ourselves up. And we're going to come into a comfortable seated position. As we come into a seated position, we're going to do some meditation with the breath. Now, if you need to bolster your hips, sit on a block or, or a bolster. If you feel fine sitting on the ground today, sit on the ground. But in our practice... I'll be asking a series of self-inquiry questions as we move through some body relaxation. Just observe what may arise and what shows up. We're not here to deny the questions. We're not here to push the questions away. We're just here to see how the mind's conditioned response is. And can we remain in our hearts as we do this? First, an inhale, fill your lungs. On the exhale, let your hands rest on your lap, left hand on top of the right, thumbs lightly touch. Spread through the collarbones, draw the shoulder blades down the back. And on an inhale, exhale, relax your head. Breathing smoothly and deeply on your own. Relaxing the crown of the head. Accepting each thought that arises. Not here to push the thought away. Not here to defend the thought or erase the thought. Just becoming aware of the thoughts. Self-inquiry question. Do I struggle with accepting my thoughts? Do I struggle with accepting my thoughts? Watch any answer that arises remain in the heart. Deep breath in. Exhale, relaxing your forehead. Relaxing the eyebrows. Self-inquiry question. Am I challenged with accepting my own inner intuition and truth? 
Am I challenged accepting my own inner wisdom and truth? Deep breath in, just to rye, watching the answers. Exhale. Relax the face, the lips, the eyes, the mouth, tongue, jaw. Self-inquiry question. Do I struggle with accepting my face? Do I struggle with accepting my face? Do we have to cover it up? Do we have to hide it in order to be quote unquote acceptable to others? Can we accept our face and our bodies just as they are today, starting now? Smooth breath in. Smooth exhale. Relax the neck and throat. Relax the muscles around the vocal cords. Smooth breath in. Exhale. Self-inquiry question. Do I accept my own voice? Do I accept my truth? Regardless of what others may think or feel, am I accepting of my truth today? Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Relax the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, letting go of the past, letting go of wearing any extra energetic stress. Affirmation, I'd like you to repeat to yourself. I accept this moment here and now. I accept this moment here and now. I accept this moment here and now. Smooth breath in. Exhale. Relax the arms. <clears throat> Relaxing the upper arms, elbows, and lower arms. Self-inquiry question. Have we been carrying a lot lately? Work, stress, family, balance. I accept that I may be carrying things, starting with that. Because if it's true, then we start here in the present moment with that fact. And then we can look at what we choose to let go of and accept that when it's time to let go. Smooth breath in. Exhale. Relax the hands, the fingers, and thumbs in the lap. Self-inquiry question, am I holding on to things? Not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. Am I clinging to a narrative, holding steadfast, unchanging? Can we accept the fact that Everything is in a state of change. And we change subtly with that. Deep breath in. Exhale. 
self-inquiry question. Am I accepting life? Am I holding on to life? Am I pushing life away? Am I accepting life? Am I holding on to life? Am I pushing life away? Smooth breath in. And exhale. Let your collarbones spread. Let your chest relax. Perhaps you can get so still you feel your heart beating. Self-inquiry question. Do I accept my heart? Because the heart is there that's been with us all along while in these bodies. Am I willing to accept my heart? Relaxing your spine. You can keep the spine elongated while relaxing at the same time. Remembering that the spine supports us. We can ask ourselves, am I supported? Am I supported? And if we're not, in which way? And if we are, continue to sit with that deep, deep, deep support. That support of acceptance, knowing no matter what, you are accepted just as you are. Relaxing the belly and the abdomen. Asking ourselves, have we been processing a lot of things lately? Have we been digesting a lot of life? Self-inquiry question, can I accept life as it is? If the answer is yes, continue. If the answer is no, let's look at what part is not accepting life as it is. It likes to overprocess and overdigest. It feeds off of that. It's worthy to look at because you are accepted and worthy. Deep breath in. Exhale. Relax your hips, pelvis, and buttocks, and all the muscles within, muscles around reproductive organs muscles around the uterus. Self-inquiry question. Do I accept all of my parts of my body? Do I accept all parts of my body? That includes genitalia, skin. That includes wrinkles and freckles and moles that enclose pinky toes and toenails, all parts, mucus. Just observe the answer. Remembering that it would not be here if it were not accepted here by a higher power of force that allows us to be here. The guidance of acceptance is always and ever present. Inhale. And exhale. Relax the legs, upper legs, knees, and lower legs. Am I living in fear? is the question to ask ourselves, am I living in fear? Am I living with fear? And if so, which fears? And if so, who is attached to those fears? And if the answer is I am, 
who is the I that is attached to these fears? What does that I look like? Does it have a taste, a smell, a scent? Observe the answers to these questions. Observe if the mind may feel overwhelmed. For the fears kept in the recesses of the mind prevent us from truly experiencing the present moment. We accept these fears as they are, recognizing that they are conditioned we also work through them so that the being is not controlled by the thought. Relaxing the ankles, the feet, and the toes. Deep breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Regrounding ourselves here and now in the present moment. I accept my thoughts. I accept my body. I accept the breath. I accept that which connects all of it, which includes the self. Deep breath in. Exhaling. Gently, lightly. Start to move the fingers and toes. Circle the wrists. Circle the ankles. You can straighten your legs if you like. Roll the shoulders out. And from here, let us simply place our hands over our hearts, bow our head to our hands. As we collectively accept the self collectively, as I of the mind learns to accept the wordless self, for the self does not need extraneous words to describe it. And gratitude to all the many friends, families, loved ones, and supporters that we have in our lives. And gratitude to the many blessings, gifts, and abundance. We accept them open-heartedly. And gratitude to the challenges that we all face. We accept those too because we know that that helps us grow. And in gratitude to the many teachers and guides that passed along these practices called meditation, pranayama, breath work. Gently releasing the hands down, opening the eyes, lifting your chins. I thank you very much, everybody, for joining. I hope some of that makes sense. Um, I understand towards the end, uh, you know, some of these statements, uh, I try to look at pretty hard in my own practice, you know, uh, especially when questioning the I, when we begin to understand that everything I no is based off of everything that the I has experienced in form this lifetime and by what that I has picked up by uh, its exposure to whatever environmental factors. One of the greatest teachings that I found is that, you know, the mind likes to try to describe the self and put the words to the self. Oh, the self is this and the self is this and the self is this. Um, that's something that mind stuff, that's a mind activity. But when we truly sit in silence with uh, ourself, no words are really necessary to describe that. And something very, very beautiful unfolds when we start to look at that. And we really start to tap into things like self-acceptance. So does that make sense, I hope, from a philosophical standpoint? Yeah. Um, how do you feel after today's practice? relaxed i always feel after this breathing i always feel so relaxed and i keep thinking i should go to the videos that you've posted or youtubes that you've posted but i just love doing this with you real you oh, oh <laughs> awesome well thank you i love doing it with the real you too <laughs> <laughs> 
whatever that is. <laughs> but um, my back also feels more relaxed. Of course, I haven't stood up yet, so we'll see. But okay. okay. Um, you know these questions, these self-inquiry questions. Um, I, they're, they're, my teachers also ask me of the same things, and they're really. It's not David asking you these questions; it's you asking yourself these questions, and just observing the mind stuff. And when we can really look at how our mind reacts to these, like, is it overreacting based off of it? Why is it triggered by that question? I think we can get a better context. Well, not think, I feel actually we get a better context because, and I say feel versus think, because when I feel I can relax into that versus when I think about it, I'm still tense. And so when I allow myself to relax into that question, I can go, oh, this is my mind trying to fight that question rather than just sitting with it and seeing what comes up. And that's where that observer witness uh, pra practice comes in. So thanks everybody. I, I hope this helps some, um, you know, I don't have any answers <laughs> trying to figure this all out too, but uh, it sure is great to practice with you and, um, you know, know that there are loving beings that also find this important. So I thank you all. I wish you a beautiful day. And if you need anything at all, I'm here to support and help in any way that I can. All right. Thank you. David. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, David. How's Shelly doing? Oh, uh, she's doing great. Uh, pause.